I'm here at Modified in Milwaukee today with Nick. And Nick, tell me about this place, because this place is absolutely amazing. Thanks, dude. All right, so I started this place, um, boy, I think it was back in 16, and it was out of a single car garage, wow. not too far from here. And uh, it slowly turned into something that was like, more than a hobby, it, pretty quick actually. So I mean, like I had, <laughs> my house I had, Bikes, like, it was an apartment. I had bikes, like, on my back patio inside my apartment. Like, I, there was, like, a single car garage that was, like, stuffed. So I was like, okay, pretty much a necessity to get a space. And then as soon as I got into this place, just the room for creativity and things that I could do, uh, it just grew exponentially. And, uh, of course, as you know, as when you start yeah. working on your own stuff, you buy tools, oh. and then other people hear that you got the tools, and yep. they need help. So I uh, really started just doing work for friends, and it really evolved into what we got now, which is Modified. So. See, that's incredible that you could start from an apartment in a single car garage and develop this incredible facility here. I can relate to you on that front. I mean, yeah. my bike's currently without wheels sitting in my <laughs> living room, so like, I understand it. But let's take a look at what we were able to accomplish, or I should say what Nick was able to accomplish within powder coating these wheels, because you can take your spoked motorcycle wheels from this to this. That's a great example because the way that bikes come from the factory, they have to make it kind of a one size fits all as far as color and scheme goes. So this is a good example of like a factory KTM wheel that we took off an enduro. It's not a supermoto, but pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, this is similar to what yours looked like, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Before you took it off. So Kaysen had tried to do some Plasti Dip and do like a little bit of a 50-50, but problem with that is that it's just not super durable. Um, the way that we had started to rebuild spoke wheels, we ended up buying all the equipment to do powder coating and uh, got to the point where we can powder coat 50-50 designs, we have fixtures to be able to do the spokes and nipples in whatever color you want. And uh, even the availability to, you know, color match to the bike. Uh, so Kaysen brought in this piece and we got it pretty close. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what this all looks like on the bike. We've had just about as much fun as we can here in the <laughs> shop, but the most important part and the best part about it is when you get to put it on your bike and go out and ride, so. I'm excited for that too. Yeah. It's been a, a long process, but I tell you what, when you look at these wheels and see how they came out, I honestly think that it's worth every second, every minute, every penny that you could put into this because it transforms your motorcycle like you'd never believe. And I mean, just walking around here, seeing at some of the other bikes that you've done the actual wheels on, it's incredible how it pulls everything in and transforms the look. And it's something that honestly, it's, it's pretty fun to do too. I mean, explain some of the powder coating process and what you go through to get a wheel from this to this. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, luckily you had helped with a little bit of the process when we started. You took your wheels apart, you took them off your bike, you got the tires off, took the spokes down, okay. um, and uh, that saves us a little time, you know, but from there it's really just getting each individual part on the bike as far as every spoke, every nipple, rim, hub, getting it all stripped down, sandblasted, um, and then it just gets into the process uh, where there's a lot of detail in, in the coating of the parts and assembly of course. So uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, stick around because we have a lot of footage of exactly what goes into it. So let's roll to that now.
God, looking at him, I'm so excited to get him on. I think it's going to be so cool. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. incredible. I mean, again, thank you for all the work that you were able to do with this. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I, obviously super stoked like to help and be part of that. I, I just love, <laughs> like, I love bikes so much <laughs> that like just being a small part of, you know, making it different or cooler, that's just so badass to me. You make you dreams know? happen here. Yeah. I mean, look around, my <laughs> Thanks, God. Man. Like, the amount of just effort and work that you put in to especially the patented, you know, 50-50 yeah. design, uh -huh. I mean, that's incredible. Right. I mean, I, I could, I, I did not think they were going to come out this good. Did you? That's, Honestly. That's like, awesome. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was incredible. Yeah, I always love exceeding expectations. Anyone could do anything. It just depends on what you pour your time into, you know. It's like just taking different paths. So it's, I wish I had enough, uh, as, as much seat time and <laughs> all that yeah, as right. you. But uh, at the same time, I love working on bikes. You know, for me, it's like, it's a trade off between what's better, whether wrenching or riding. Yeah. So I don't know, it's, it's all good all around. So. That's a fun process. So yeah. if you'd love any more information on Motified, find it in the description below. But also Nick, this is your time. This is yeah. your 30 seconds. Shout out where we can find Motified, how this process works, and, yeah. and how we can get in touch. Uh, I think best best place to go, uh, motifiedcycles.com. We have a contact page, but there's also uh, a lot of photos and stuff that I put up there so you can get reference for what's possible to do with your wheels. Uh, and then we also have Instagram and a YouTube channel as well. So um, just check the links below if you're interested in doing something with your bike. We're open and ready to go. Well, at that, I think we'll close out, and you can see the results here. I mean, as we stand behind the incredible set and the set that will become something incredible in the future here at Motified. So stick around for these things to go back on the motorcycle and to see what the whole project will look like. I know I've got a few other videos coming up, but again, thank you, Nick. A huge Good. thank you to Motified. Thanks for coming This in. has been killer. So stay tuned for more, and remember, keep riding. That's it. Oh. Whoa!